Hi, it's Marg and Laurie here again today and what we're going to do is recycle some household plastics into a pair of earrings. It's, um, it, it's quite a simple process and all you need to do is dish detergent bottle. Here I have a, um, a, an old lid that I have cut a piece out of. Um, and an assortment of different bits, different household plastics here, which can be all useful for recycling. This here, um, something I've already cut, was a um, off your drinking chocolate lid. Um, I try and not buy plastics and what I get I do try and recycle because they are very very detrimental to the environment. Um, it's you don't need a lot of stuff to do make earrings and jewellery out of plastics and um, I'm going to use I'll just show you this here I have the um, sandwich maker which I'll be using to heat and manipulate the plastic into shape um, and I have a drill and some jewellery findings to actually put the, put the um, earrings together. Here I have some baking paper and depending on what you're melting at the time as to how you actually um, how you actually heat them and manipulate them. If you don't have a sandwich maker, you can actually use your, um, if you have a, a hair iron, you can use a hair iron or you can use your ordinary iron. Um, what I'm going to do, because I want to manipulate this plastic into a different shape, I want to heat it and then I'm going to pull it off. I'm only going to do them one at a time instead of quite a few at a time because once they go hard, they're hard again and you don't want to overheat it because you can actually burn it. So all I'm going to do is put that bit of plastic there into the parchment, into the baking paper. I'm going to make that smaller again because I want it, I want it easy for me to use. So what I've done is I've cut the drinking chocolate lid into a semicircle. I've put it into the baking paper and now I'm just going to put it over into our sandwich maker and um, just heat it for a few moments. Um, once it's heated, I'll pull it out and I'll twist it into the shape that I want. So that is enough heat. Whoops, it's a bit warm. And now I'm just going to twist the paper like that. And then that will cool into the twisted shape. So I don't want to crease it. Now I'm going to do the second piece. And you have to let it cool in the paper to be able to um, to be able to get it out of the paper. Don't try and remove it out of the paper while it's still hot because you will burn yourself. This has cooled down enough and now I have this lovely spiral twisted shape. See that? That is going to be an earring very shortly. Pull it out. Maybe um, get yourself some gloves to pull the plastics out once they're heated. That one needs a little bit longer. We'll just shift the camera there. Rightio, that one looks like it's ready now. So I'll pull it out and I'll twist it. Rightio, I have another twisted shape there. Um, it's a beautiful purple colour, so it'll be complementary to a lot of different um, 
a, a lot of different outfits um, that you could wear it with. So I've got that one sorted and now I'm going to do the same to the yellow. Um, yellow is a really, really lovely colour to work with and it, it is actually one of the hardest plastics to find. But if you keep all your lids and different things, you can recycle them all. So again, I'm going to do these one at a time. Just recycling the parchment again. Put it down and heat it up. Only take a few moments and then I'll get it out and I will twist that into a shape as well. Different plastics um, react differently to the heat. So a lot of it, that's not heated up enough yet, so I'm putting it in for a little bit longer. A lot of it is actually um, trial and error. After I do these two yellow pieces, I will um, do a couple of the lids and just show you how they come up as well too. Just going to trim these up and tidy them up a bit. And just feel your plastic pieces. Make sure they've got no sharp edges on them because you don't want to have a pair of earrings that are going to stab you. Maybe yeah, we'll heat it up enough there. So I'm just twisting this long piece of yellow to make a longer spiral. Oh, don't bite me, Laurie. And there we have it there. I'll do the second piece now. And it'll be just repeating the same thing over again. I'm going to trim this one up. You see where a little bit of the plastic has um, come up there. I'm just feeling this one, Laurie, he, he loves my earrings. So these are recycled plastic earrings and he's just having a little nibble on them. Um, as long as he doesn't get my ear, it's okay. Here I've got some sharp corner bits, so I'll show you how to deal with those in a minute. Just get this melted enough. That's enough little bit. Hey. Same thing, twist it. It is a little bit warm, so if you have really sensitive hands, I suggest you wear some gloves. You gonna say hello to everyone? You tell them, come on. Come on. Come on and recycle some plastic. Rightio, I have another twist there, which is, um, it's come up really lovely, this one. So what I'm going to do is just put a little baking paper onto the, onto the sandwich maker, and I'm just going to melt the ends down and around. This will actually soften all your edges so you don't have any sharp points or anything to deal with. Just gently melt them down like that, and then we've got that there. I'm going to do the same with this one here. It's got a few sharp points on it, so I'm going to gently melt them down and around so we don't get... You can have this piece, you can't have a hot piece, okay? Mmm! So now I've got those there and these here. These are blanks and I'll get two sets of earrings out of this. Now, I'm just going to show you, for experiment's sake, a lot of this is experimental. I've got different, um, different plastic shapes here that have come off lids, and I'm just going to quickly melt them and show you the results of those. So in there, bit of parchment, bit of baking paper, down with the lid.
Onion bags make really good earrings as well. Um, onion, garlic, passion fruit. If you buy anything with these bags, just keep them. That'll be an exercise for another day to show you that one. But we'll just focus on um, these household plastics today. Now I've melted these. You will see that the paper is stuck together. So we'll just let it cool for a minute. It has to be cooled before they... Um, before it will um, come apart. Now I've just turned off the sandwich maker and I'll put it to the side and then we'll get our jewellery making gear. So you'll see those pieces I put in. I've melted them together. So that with a little bit of a clean up would make a gorgeous earring as well. It's got great colour. Just put those over to the side. Pull this over here. Move that back a little bit. And you can see what we're going to do now. So I've got these two bits that I have tidied up. I'm going to make this into an earring now. So all I do is I've got my drill with a very, very fine drill bit on it. And I'm going to do a little hole into there. And a little hole into this one here. I've got my jewellery findings here. So I'll just open that up. Laurie, stop biting me. Put your jump ring in there and then your earring onto that one there. Close it up. Enough. Mm -hmm. And now I'll just show you what we do here. I'll put this one on this side, take it off. There we go. A really nice yellow earring just that's been quickly made out of a, um, a old lid that's past its use by date. I'll do the purple one now. Quickly get into there. Back up again. Now get the um, pliers into your jump ring and open them. So the hole's not quite big enough, so I'll just re-drill again. So this is a great activity just to, uh, while we're all in ISO, that's enough. While we're all in ISO, just to um, do something a little bit different. Um, really experiment with it, experiment with different colours, different shapes. Um, see what you can come up with so I've got the jump ring through and now I'm just putting the um, findings on you can you can buy your jewelry findings new if you're going to make them to sell buy new ones if you have old um, if you have old earrings at home that you want to recycle you can you can take the findings off them and reuse them so I'm just going to take this one out, give that one to Laurie to play with, see if he likes it so much. There you go. That can be your earring. And I'll put this one in. 
So I actually like wearing asymmetrical earrings, but I would make this one into a pair and I'd make this one into a pair and then sometimes I'd swap them around. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to recycle household plastics into some earrings. Thanks for watching.